so you're going to open Photoshop and go to new and here you're just going to go to custom whatever and make sure that the background contents are transparent you're going to go over here to the horizontal text tool and you're going to make sure that you choose your font up top but I normally work with this in black so that it's easier to see against the transparent background you can move this around to the center but then you're going to go ahead and crop that to the size of your watermark After you've done that, you're going to go up to Edit and Define Brush Preset. And then you can go ahead and title that whatever you like. Hit OK. And then you're going to have that as a brush now. So then, whenever you want to watermark your image, you're going to pull your image up. You're going to go over here to the Brush Tool. And you can change this up and down by using the brackets on your keyboard. Um, to make the size smaller or larger so the left bracket make it makes it smaller and the right bracket makes it larger um, So then you just can change your opacity and stuff on top. I normally keep it around 60 to 70 and You can make it smaller or larger and click wherever you like I use the painting module over here to the right to choose the color of my brush so you can choose it like black or white or actually any color if for some reason you don't like it, you can come up here to edit and then click undo brush tool and then you can make it smaller or move it to a different area and then you can also do the same thing by using step backward.